Another type of cipher that's very common is the substitution cipher. The substitution cipher replaces each character of a plain text message with something else. All that you need to create a substitution, or rather to use a substitution cipher, is a table of plain text characters and their associated substitute characters, or you could create a simple algorithm to do the job. Either way works. For example, let's assume that we have our cipher text C is equal to the plain text character plus 3. Well, that works great up until you get to the last three characters of the alphabet. What happens if we have, let's say, a Z, which is character number 26, and we add 3 to it, we're going to end up with something that doesn't make any sense. That's why we have the modulo here. Modulo 26 effectively will say that if it runs off the end, we're going to rotate it back around to the front. So in that case, Z would be C, as in Charlie. So using this, if we had the alphabet character A, we add 3 to it, we get D. So our plain text A would equal our ciphertext D. R would equal our ciphertext U. And Y, this shows us where we move around, Y is the next to last character, so he would move to Z, A, B. Move all the way around the alphabet. This actually is called the ROT3 cipher, which stands for Rotate 3 cipher. Some people also call this the Caesar cipher. One thing you must be aware of is that both sender and receiver must possess either the same substitution table, which shows that an A is this character, an R is some other character, or they both have to be using the same algorithm. Otherwise, it's not going to work.